and welcome to part two of the DIY Gamer lesson plan. In the previous lesson you were introduced to the wonderful world of conceiving of your game and imagining what the possibilities were and how to actually take those possibilities and make a game out of them just from with a piece of paper and a pen. Today we're going to take all those ideas and actually put them into code and onto the gamer so that you can actually start making your own game from the very beginning. So you have to have your gamer, that's the first part. You also have to have downloaded the Arduino um, IDE, the Arduino development environment, which you can download from arduino.cc. When you open up Arduino, you'll, it starts off with just a blank, empty um, sketch, it's called. Um, what we're going to do to begin with is just sort of write up inside of the sketch exactly what we're trying to achieve over the next few classes. So. To begin with, we're going to start off with a comment. And in order to comment in Arduino, or in a lot of other development environments, you have two ways. The first way is two forward slashes, and then anything you type after that will be ignored by the compiler. And the compiler is the thing that converts our language stuff into the language that the Arduino can understand. So the first comment type is the double forward slash, but the second comment type is a forward slash and a star followed by a star and a forward slash, and anything you put inside of that, it's like lots of paragraphs, is considered a comment. Now, this is what you call a block comment. What's nice about the block comment is we can then write ourselves some notes that we're going to refer back to as we develop stuff. So, what are we going to do in this lesson? The first thing is we need to actually draw something onto the screen of the Arduino, or the screen of the DIY gamer. Once we have something on the screen, we can then make that thing into something that looks a little bit more like a ship, like the images that we drew in the uh, previous uh, class. What we also then have to do is figure out how to actually control these buttons. How do you read the buttons? How do you use the information from those buttons to actually control things on the screen? Okay, so let's write those notes down. First things first, we have to draw something to the screen. We have to um, make the thing we draw into a spaceship. In this case, it'll be a little sort of mini L. L shape. We then have to move the uh, ship around the screen um, using the uh, up, down, left, and right. Left and right. We then have to um, prevent the spaceship from going outside of the screen because what's interesting about the screen is the spaceship is it wants to go straight out of the screen if we tell it to. So we have to stop that from happening, which means we want to constrain it the ship within the screen. Then what we want to do is um, maybe generate some walls so that we can dodge the walls as they're coming in from the side. So the next thing is generate some walls. Walls. Think about how we're going to do point scoring. So we talked in the past about um, each pixel maybe equaling into a meter. So we can count how many meters your little spaceship has to travel through the walls in order to actually survive as long as it can. And then those meters is what becomes the points, right? So think about the, the way to assess how well someone does. And then, how do you present that information on screen? So we have to have a way to kind of write text or to say congratulations or whatever the case may be. Congratulations, text. Of course, we also wanted to do things like when you start the game, it says, welcome to Dodge. And then if there was an echo, mm -hmm. there'd be an echo. Um, you also wanted to say game over, but of course, just in text. Um, other things we can do, of course, is add sound. So not only do you have the text, but you also have sound, which would be super cool. So add sound. So we've got loads of different things to do. There's gonna be a couple of extra bits and bobs that we're gonna add in as we go, go along. But um, I think it's time for us to begin. Mm -hmm. 